This tutorial uses TerraSculptor 3.0 and Godot 3 LTS to import a real-world terrain into Godot. There are currently three main methods for creating terrains in TerraSculptor. Using procedural noise map creation along with the many available modifier devices, importing more than 150 file formats including height maps and digital elevation models, and using the Mapper Dem Explorer to download real-world locations. For this video, we will use one of the Mapper Explorer locations. Navigate to Zoom Level 11, Tile X328, Tile Y764 to Mount Shasta in California. Choose the top left section to download. This is an 8192 by 8192 region. Now we will resample the height map to a valid Godot height map resolution. Godot supports square resolutions that are called power of 2 plus 1 sizes. This is values including 65, 129, 257, 513, 1025, 2049, and 4097. We will use a 4097 by 4097 size, which is the largest supported in Godot. On the Modify menu, choose the Resample device. Enter in the value 4097 for both width and length, and click on OK to resample. On the Modify menu, choose Normalize to reset the height map to full scale. Finally, we need to export the height map to a Godot supported height map file format. Godot supports both PNG and RAW 16 formats, but the PNG format only imports the data as 8 bit, and we don't want to lose all of our height map quality. On the file menu, choose the export terrain. Navigate to the location where you want to save the file, choose the binary RAW file format type. Enter in the name Height Map and choose the Save button. On the Raw Export dialog, choose the 16 bit short unsigned format and Intel Format Byte Order. Click on OK to export. We are now done with TerraSculptor, so on to Godot importing. The first step is to download the Godot Height Map plugin, if you don't already have it. Go to Asset Lib on the top menu, type in Terrain or Height Map to perform a search, and select the Height Map Terrain by Xylan and install it. Go to the Project menu, Project Settings, click on the Plugins tab, and enable the Height Map Terrain plugin. Then right click on the Spatial node and add a new child node. Open Spatial and scroll down to H Terrain and double click on it. Now we can see a yellow exclamation next to the new H Terrain node in the scene list. This is because we have to assign a data directory to H Terrain. Click on H Terrain in the scene list to display its properties in the right inspector panel and click on the data directory folder icon. Create a folder under the current Godot project called Terrain Data. We will now have a new blank height map in Godot. Next we click on H Terrain in the scene list, click on Terrain on the toolbar, and select the resize terrain item, and set it to 4097. Always set this value to the size of the height map that you are importing before you do the import. Next click on Terrain on the toolbar again, and select the Import Maps item. 
On the file dialog, click on the Browse three dots button and navigate to where we saved the raw file. Set the max height to 300 or 400 and click on Import. The value that you enter in for height will change the elevation range of the terrain, so you may have to play with this value to get the look that you want. Godot will process for a minute and load in the height map. You can now add a direction light, add other features to the scene like fog and environment, and build your visualization or game. On the next video in this series we will discuss setting up a good looking scene, and the following video will be on using terrain splat maps.